So recently I showed you a tool in my toolkit that was created by a fellow named Dan. He's a fellow installer up from Michigan and he's a real veteran. He stumbled onto my channel almost two years ago or so and he sent me this tool that will help me get the wallpaper. This is one and a quarter inches wide here on the side of this doorway. This is a wall here, and that dark space in there is a wall against which I have to get wallpaper. Okay, now let's call it two inches. Here's two fingers that are fitting there tightly. And here's the tool. Do you remember the tool? So one time I, I communicated with Dan and I said, hey Dan, like this? And he said, no, you got it, you got it. You basically have it backwards. And so this part of the tool is supposed to keep the wallpaper in place as we decide to cut it in this, in this area. Because you know, if you try to push it in here, it moves here. So this tool keeps it in place. And so I'm going to, I need two hands to do it, but I'm gonna do it with two hands and I'll show you from another angle. So here I am putting the tool in place again. It's not easy to get this, this piece installed. So you have to exert pressure on it to keep the tool open to keep it actually like this, because it wants to close. But you can see how it's made to keep it spread out. Theoretically, the more pressure you push against it, it's supposed to spread it open like a butterfly, right? Okay, so let's do that. And so far it's working. I'm exerting pressure on the smaller part, and it's staying in there. Okay? Yeah. You really have to put pressure against the smaller part. Dan, if you're watching this video, I get it. You see this handle, right? You have to actually bend it. It puts pressure on the smaller wing and that keeps it open. But you really have to put pressure on it. So let me try with one hand. It's, I'm gonna show you how, how nice it's opening this up. So I put it in there and now I put the pressure on it and now it's doing with one hand what I needed two hands to do before. I don't know how long this tool will stay intact now because of all the pressure I'm putting on it, but let me show you how well it's doing. Okay, this is how tedious this project is, look. You see it in there? Look, this is not an easy task anyway. Don't expect like a perfect commercial here, right? But look at how it, nice it is. You see all the pressure, see me bending that? And how many of us have had this problem, right? On this particular maneuver. If you're like me, you wind up just kind of cutting this wallpaper and hoping that you don't overcut it, like against here. And of course, we overcut it, right? So now I'm using my finger to keep it open. So I'm helping it along. I don't think there's any easy way to do this. I'm gonna trim this piece that keeps getting in your way so that you can see. But I didn't wanna over trim it. You, you know what I'm talking about for those of us who installed. Look at how nice. I mean, this is just Dan's tool doing its job. I mean, those of you who install, you know that that's a nice amount of layout there, you know? All I gotta do is cut this piece off and do it a little better. And I think, Dan, you invented a nice tool that you should go to Advance, get a project or an, a, uh, a product engineer and sell it to us. So I trimmed off the piece over here and I'm not gonna say that this is the easiest tool to use, 
But I've struggled before on these, on this particular issue. I don't know what you guys do. You let me know, please, in the section. Look, it's got a nice uh, ability to spread open this piece in here. Now, this is the way I was using it in the beginning when I first reported back to Dan on whether or not it was good. So I was doing it like this. And he said, you're doing it backwards. And this does seem to be the way you would use it. We would want the bigger part to be the part against which we cut, right? Now that is, Dan, I hope I'm doing this right. I really think it's a good, it's a good way to go. You know you guys who install this stuff for a living. I mean, look at that, that's, that's a crease in there, right? Isn't that hard to do normally? Or we wind up ripping it if it's cheap stuff. Not even cheap stuff, it's just so damp that we wind up tearing it from trying to get it nicely into, that, into this corner or into this space, right? So here we go again. What would be nice is, is if this thing was hard pressed to close, like if there were a spring action in there that it was hard to do that, that would be good because otherwise you have to do it with your hand, which isn't bad for a free tool from a colleague wallpaper installer, right? See how nice? So if I had to invent this thing, I would put a brass spring in there, something that's gonna last, something also that was replaceable. So you can come up with a corner like that. Pretty nice, right? Now let's see how it does when we cut. Start the black line. You know what I think I should do? I should cut on this side of it because it's very hard to get the blade over here. I think I should cut inside in the middle of this thing. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, definitely the way to go. I'm gonna go all the way down. Take you. It did very good. My blade did not run off. It stayed where I wanted it and did exactly what I wanted it to do. After you get that space established with this tool, if you're not comfortable with this, after it does a beautiful job spreading open that piece of wallpaper, I think you could simply go to one of these and then cut the rest of the seam. Here's a shot from up above. All right. I'm on top of the scaffold here. So I'm looking down now from where I was before. I like it. How about you? So, with the light on my camera, I show you the results. I get in there as best as I can with this camera. This tool was created and actually manufactured by a wallpaper installer in Michigan named Dan Childs. And it's the first time I've featured it on my videos. What do you think? It's two plastic spatulas or taping knives, as we call them. And together they push on each end simultaneously, putting the wallpaper in this corner and in this one. 
i like it. thank you, dan.